Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is May 4th, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is all of the sunspots and the northern and southern coronal holes at the top and the bottom of the sun. As you can see, these coronal holes, they're not going anywhere. We've been researching these for months on end. Earlier today, Myself and the professor were looking at some footage from HelioViewer and the SDO. And we are almost 100% sure that what we have spotted, and it took a lot of time looking at the photographs, but there is a very, very high possibility that what we're looking at are the brown dwarf stars and possibly some of the planets. In the upper right-hand corner and the lower right-hand corner, you'll see two small objects. Now, it took a lot of time to work with the photographs to bring out the brown dwarf stars and possibly some smaller planets, or they might be quite large. The photographs that you're going to see as we go through this video, they may not look like much to you, but believe me, they are not supposed to be where they are located in these photographs. Now what you have to remember is these brown dwarf stars do not emit a lot of light, so it's very hard to see them. And the fact of the matter is NASA is hiding these objects in the SDO and SETCHI and the stereo footage. It took almost all day playing around with the coloring and the contrast and trying to bring these objects out. Now, the professor was looking at some of this information earlier this morning, and she actually noticed these objects, and they were so faint you could barely see them. And that is exactly what they want you to do. Now, I pretty much worked almost all day with these photographs in order to bring out the objects. Now, there is a very high possibility, ladies and gentlemen, that these objects, these brown dwarf stars, they do have planets orbiting around them. Now, the photograph you're looking at now is in the bottom right-hand corner of the sun, and these are all current photographs for yesterday and today. This was taken from a 48-hour loop from the SDO. And you can clearly see the larger brown dwarf at the bottom and a smaller planet at the top. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we now know how to locate these objects using the SDO and the Helio Viewer. It just takes a lot of time because they are definitely trying to disguise these objects. Now, we fact-checked all of this today trying our best using the solar system scope and many other programs to make sure that what we were looking at wasn't Saturn or Jupiter and these objects are just in a different location our normal planets are not even visible in the footage from the SDO so the bottom line is we're going to be waiting for the professor to finish a report on all of this and we'll be bringing you that report probably sometime tomorrow morning so please stay tuned and hopefully we have all of this information put together and we will bring it to you first thing tomorrow morning on a live stream this is scott from planet x news thank you for watching